Quando a guarda está se não pode, eu não sei se 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 eu não Wilco gave you canon, gave you a day, a day to not pack the book, a day to not pack the republic, a day to not pack the 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 គិតធ្វើសិមួយអាចសិនហើយគិតពិសេសគិតថាចូលក្នុងសមាគមណាមួយ <coughs> 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 ແລະអស់លោកនឹងលោកអបនិយាយនេះថាអានឹងអឺសំខាន់ណាបើ <coughs> 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 ແລະຈັ່ງມາສ້າງບ້ານເຕີນອອກນີ້ຮີບກັບຜູ້ຊິມຶນເບາະເຕີນກໍອ້າຍຖ້າບໍ່ຮູ້ເຕີນຈອບ
for the next rule of local study if you will. Um, as yesterday, I apologize, I cannot present in Khmer. I speak some Khmer, but I'm afraid that I, in getting, wanting to get my points across, I might not be able to speak uh, Khmer well enough, so I will present in English. where I'm from, we speak hundreds of different languages. And in Indonesia, um, as you know, they were colonized by the Dutch, and when they were uh, involved in, in nationalism and trying to get away from colonialism, they, one of the things they decided to do was to make a national language to unite the many different islands. And so they created a language called Indonesian. So every citizen of Indonesia speaks Indonesian, but many of them also speak their other languages, so from Sulawesi, from Sumatra, from Java. Um, and Hakim said, well, there, there's this one language and a certain kind of storytelling in South Sulawesi, and it's dying. It's a dying language because nobody wants to speak it anymore. It's, it's called Bajau, and nobody uses it except when they're fishing, and everyone wants to speak Indonesian, and all the young people, they want to go, they want to leave the island, so it's dying out. And there are two women, two elderly women in their 90s, and they are the last people who know how to speak this language. And what I would like to do for my master's project is I would like to go and learn this language and tell the story of this language. So he did. Um, he went to uh, the little island off of his island to meet with these two ladies. Um, and one that he met with specifically, and if I had the internet, I'd show you a little clip of the video, but I uh, named Makoto. And Makoto is um, 90, maybe 94, and the wittiest personality you could ever imagine. And he lived with Makoto for about a year. And he learned the language, and he learned something called Iko Iko, which is how uh, the Bajau teach their children about their history. And so what he did was he learned this entire history, and he came back to Ohio University, and he performed it as his master's thesis uh, in front of an auditorium. And I have to tell you that that was one of the best master's projects I've ever supervised. It was just incredible. And I thought to myself, Hakeem, you were just right. I couldn't have read 200 pages and gotten the same thing from that as I did with you telling this story. Okay. So stories can inspire, stories connect us, stories bring us into each other's presence, and they also document. Um, and when a story dies, a little bit of history dies, which is why it was so important that Hakeem um, tell the story of Makoto. I think people's stories should be shared so they can be kept alive. Stories also fill in the blanks. Um, eyewitnesses to events contribute perspectives that fill in the gaps in documented history, in book history, I'll call it, sometimes correcting or even contradicting the written record. And the photo you see here is of uh, Lokong Chor, who lives in Australia. And he has a, a film called Camp 32. Has anyone seen it? It's wonderful. I wish that I could show you a clip of it, but um, Lok Chorn um, left in 1979, left Cambodia in 1979, and went to live in Australia, and spent most of his life there. 
and the documentary is about him going back to Cambodia to, to see what happened. And um, are any of you familiar with the Document Documentation Center of Cambodia, DC Cam? Yeah. It's an organization where they document um, all of the uh, things, the history, the atrocities of the Khmer Rouge. And one of the things they do is they mapped out where the different healing fields for the different camps were. So when he went back to Cambodia, one of the first things he did was to go to DC camp. And he looked at all the maps and found that his camp wasn't on there. So in documented fact, it didn't exist. But he knew that it existed. And the rest of the documentary shows him going back to that place and finding who was still alive and, and telling that story. Uh, and I bring that up because if we had just gone by the map, Book Chuan doesn't exist. His, his camp doesn't exist, but certainly it did. Okay, so what's the mission of the Khmer Generations Project? We feel that by documenting and sharing these kinds of stories, the Khmer Generations Project seeks to promote understanding to support healing, and most importantly, I think, is to facilitate connections between individuals, families, and communities across generations. Um, I'm not sure if they're still here or not, but there were some younger younger people here, and so this is um, something I hope you will keep in mind. Before I go into this slide, I just wanted to say that um, during the weekend there have been several people who said to me, you know, my, my kids and my grandkids, they're just not interested in, in Cambodian history or, or speaking Khmer or anything about, about Cambodia. Um, and I think that's not true. I think they want to know and they want to understand, but they don't know how to ask. And so that's one of the, the uh, points, the objectives of this project is how do you ask that question and how do you connect through story? There's another film here, it's called The Last Reel. And if any of you have seen it, then you know it's a really interesting story about a young woman in Phnom Penh. Um, and she's a university student by day and a karaoke bar singer by night, much to the chagrin of her parents. Um, and one day as she's walking home from the bar, she happens upon an old cinema. It's raining, and so she runs inside a building and it happens to be an old cinema. And there's a, an older man in there, and he's watching a film. Um, and long story short, she comes to know this older gentleman, watching films with him and learning about the past. And it turns out that one of the people in the film is her mother, who was a, um, a film star before the Khmer Rouge time. And the rest of the film talks about how she gets to know her mother through those stories, because she was never able to ask her what had happened with her. So this is just something that the director of this film said, and I think it really resonates with what I'm talking about. Um, the last reel portrays my belief in the overwhelming human need for stories, and storytelling as part of the reconciliation process toward restoring a country and a culture that was devastated by genocide and war. It takes courage to open our hearts and minds and to relive what has gone before. So, that's kind of a long introduction to get to what is the project itself. So the Khmer Generations Project is a digital storytelling project. And what that means is an online project. And in the project itself, we'll teach people who come to our workshops how to create a digital story. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I deserve extra time because of the technical difficulties. Um, okay, I'll, I'll be as quick as I can. Um, you learn how to create a digital story about your personal experience or someone in your family's experience. We're going to be using computer-based tools um, to put together a story that can be accessed online using things like photos, documents, text, recorded narrative, video clips, and so on and so forth. So the first goal is to create a user-friendly digital archive of my stories. Okay, documenting a broad range of immigrant and refugee experiences. Um, why do we want to do digital stories? Uh, as some of you know from my speech yesterday, I worked for the Center for Law Studies uh, for quite a while, and we did a lot of oral history work. And any of you who have done oral history know that sometimes you go with the camera and you interview someone for hours and hours and days and weeks and months, and what the end result is is very, very, very long. And 
unless the person who's interviewed is somebody that you know or that you care about, it's unlikely that you would sit and watch that video for five or six hours. And even if it was someone you knew, maybe you wouldn't sit and watch for five or six hours. But the digital stories are between five and seven minutes long, and they're, you can access them and then you can watch more than one of them. You could watch a thousand in the time it would take to watch one long oral history interview. So the second goal is we're going to provide training and workshops on how to do this, how to assemble these digital stories. Um, and I, at the very end of this presentation, I'll show you our pilot project for this. Okay. So how does it work? Um, it's a series of workshops in which participants who want to have their story told come in and we teach them how to write their story because as an oral history interview, sometimes people kind of meander around and the story doesn't have any um, you know, set beginning, middle, and end. Um, so we have prompts through which we ask people certain questions and they're able to respond and to put the story together. After the story is written, and one of my strengths is as an editor, so I will help to edit the story, they record it. They record an audio. And then along with the audio, we put together images for this story. Okay, they, the workshops can be held over a weekend, as I've done before, or they can be held over a series of weekends or over a couple of months. It's really up to the community how they want to do it. And it's a process. Um, even though the end result is only five minutes, it takes a while to set it up. Okay, so very quickly, this is how the workshop would go. Before the workshop, people would start to collect their documents, collect photos, things they want to have in the video. Then in the first part of the workshop, as I mentioned, we help people to write down their stories through a series of prompts. Then the next workshop, or the second part of the, the workshop, they would record their story okay, and find any other images that they might want to put in maps or uh, general photos, maybe not of their personal experience, but of uh, things in general. And then in the third workshop, they put it all together into a video. And that's a video that can be shared. Uh, once the video is done, People can keep it for themselves. They can um, have it kind of as an archive to pass on to their children and grandchildren. Or if they want, they can upload it to the website and it can become part of the archive. And one of the hopes for the archive is that, let's say that you were from Bakumbong, you can go into the uh, My Generations Project and look for Bakumbong and see who else's stories are in there. And maybe you'll find a story of someone that you knew long ago and hadn't connected with for 30 years. Um, and things like that. So if we can have a, a database of different people. The last slide. This is a video that I won't show you because we don't have time, but this is an example of how, it, how the um, end product comes, and I'd be happy to share the link with you if you want to take a look at it later. Okay. And the last goal is to use this project to support discussion about my experience between generations. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes people can't just go to their parents and their grandparents and say, hey, so tell me what happened in 1975. It's not a question that you can just bring up. And as someone whose father um, is playing, and he did not live through the Khmer Rouge, but his family um, lived and died under the Khmer Rouge, it's not something I can just go say, hey, Dad, so how do you feel about 1975? It's just not something that a daughter might say uh, to a father. But we can look for documents together, look at old photos. We can start to connect and start to tell the story. And it's actually been a quite powerful experience for some people. It provides a medium for people to ask the questions that they can ask. All right. Okay, great. Okay. Can I just put the last slide up? Okay. Uh, this is the last slide, I promise. This is, the, this is our website. It's mygenerations.org. And if you go there, you can see some of the stories that are already there. Um, and see what's, how it works. And if you're interested, perhaps, in either sharing your story or know someone who might be interested in coming to a workshop, I've given you the, um, the brochures. And the workshops are free. They're provided for the community. And hopefully, by this time next year, there will be hundreds of stories for you to look at. So 
Thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation. So now, Dr. Sapat. One of the things that um, that was interesting uh, that I was very interested in was that you know it's been over 40 years since April 15th, April 17th, and, and year by year there didn't, there didn't seem to be much um, you know anything on that date, and uh, it was actually my wife who who said that, hey, Samba, maybe you need to, um, you know, talk to somebody, maybe Deng, I don't know what Deng is right now, uh, maybe Deng, maybe the fruit and so on, and maybe you can have something at the temple on the 40th anniversary to say that, you know, this is something that's very meaningful, it's a, it's a very important date in the history of Cambodia, and we need to remember that. Uh, just to put it in context, um, in my opinion, I think this date, it's, it's up there, it's one of the most important in the history of Cambodia. It ranks up there with the year 1431 when we abandoned Angkor. It's never been another day that really shocked all of Cambodians, whether you're inside the country or you are outside the country. Everyone is impacted. I know that everyone's lost of somebody. Everyone knows somebody that they uh, who died. Uh, close or distant, relatives, immediate, maybe parents maybe brothers and sisters, maybe even children. So I think towards that end, I think it is very important for us to remember this day. And, uh, you know, leaving aside for a moment all the things that led up to it, that, you know, that made this day possible. But all of us, let's just join in, in a common unity to say that on this day, we all remember the people who died. All of us. So, um, just to put it in context again, um, why was this date very important? It's very important among other things is that a lot of people die. And, you know, I'm an academic by nature, by training, and, and I can put all the references you want to, but, and I put it here, but, but that's not the main point. You know, I mean, we can look at the numbers, we can look at the Melissa factor, you know, said up to two million, we can look at Chandler, who said up to a million, we can look at Keenan, who said up to... 20% uh, of the uh, Cambodian population at that time, which is about 7.8 million. We can look at um, the U.S. State Department, or we can look at um, Paul Pot's obituaries. Right? What comes out of this is that the estimates vary a lot, but the main thing is that a lot of people die. Another way of looking at this is that looking at the population trend of Cambodia, and you look at in uh, 1975, it's about seven. Uh, if you look at, it's about seven million dollars people. And in 19, and it started to decrease. And in 1979, it's about uh, there were up to um, close to a million people dead going to um, the uh, World Bank. Uh, me, the um, yeah, the uh, World Bank. But. Um, and, and this itself is, is huge, it's a huge loss. It takes over 10 years for the population to recover back to 1975 level. I mean, if, if we think about it for a moment, it, we lost 10 years of people. Another way of looking at this is that this is some, some simple linear regression back to 1974 and um, using the same trend, the same slope as a normal population of uh, growth of Cambodia starting back in about 1981, uh, 82. You can see that the difference there in terms of potential is about upwards of 3 million people. So what, what, what I'm trying to say is that any way we look at this, we, we, um, the numbers are all over the map and we can look at just the absolute number of loss, we can look at the absolute, uh, we can look at the potential loss, it's a lot. But, uh, another, another impact that came out of 1975 that's very, very big is that for the first time in the history of Cambodia, we have the Cambodian dis uh, diaspora throughout the whole world. Okay. I purposely excluded um, Thailand and Vietnam and Laos because uh, um, um, there were a lot of people who started out there to begin with and, and the, if, you, if you 
try to do, uh, if you try to calculate the number of people during the diaspora, it's a little bit more complex. But the countries that we show here are essentially zero to begin with, um, starting with uh, at around that time, 1975, maybe the exception of uh, France. And uh, this number is a little bit out of date, and um, and I know that it's more than 270 million people. It's up to you know looking at the. According to Bong uh, Bundi, if we look at the latest census, it could be 300 or slightly more than that. So, but, but again, the, the point I want to say here is just, you know, not the exact number, but the idea that for the very first time, now Cambodian populations are all throughout the world, US, France, Australia, even Korea, in South Korea. So, this is why this event is huge, it's big. And, uh, because we lost 10 years of people, now we have an international population. And, and that's why one of the reasons why we are, a lot of us are here today, because you know, there's a lot of diaspora people. Whether we came out after 79, or we came out before 75, we couldn't get back in. But you know, I mean, all the numbers aside, all the numbers aside is that Every one of those persons has a face, has a name. They are some of his parents and grandparents. And brothers and sisters. And they shouldn't be forgotten. And for that reason, we should remember them. We should remember them. Why should we remember them? Because I know that a lot, unfortunately, a lot of children, when you go out to them and you say, hey, do you know what happened? They say, no, we don't know what happened. And you start to tell them what happened and say, no, I don't believe it. Right? We, need, we need to tell them what happened so they will remember. So we can honor those who have died. So that we don't repeat this tragedy again. And this is why it's so important for us to remember what happened. And what can we do about it? Well, we can do a few things. And um, we can do a few concrete, small steps, very achievable steps. I understand that you know sometimes we want to do big things. But sometimes we want to do small things because so that we can chalk it up and say, I did these 10 things, and let's go on to the next 10 things. And these things are very achievable. We can educate our children. We can talk to them during dinner table and say, hey, you know, when I was when I was in Baton Ball in 1978, I don't even have that amount of rice that you have in your spoon right now. You can, uh, we can educate them, we can share stories, we can share videos, we can share audio. And I'm, I'm so happy to meet so many people here who said that we should do these things. And uh, for example, I was talking with Bong Yun Yun Yan yesterday, and maybe we can do that in um, um, Minnesota, we can do that in Seattle, we can do that you know, in DC and Lowe and Long Beach. Maybe one of the things that we can do is that we can have um, uh, stories as uh, Dr. Sue was talking about. How, another thing that we can do is that we can involve Cambodians and others. Yeah. If they don't have to be Cambodians, they can be non-Cambodians. We can involve them, we can have them events at temples. I think one of the, reasons, um, one of the things that we can take advantage of is that the fact that eight, seven, the 17 falls right after the New Year. A lot of people are still at the temple, and we can do that. <laughs> it is a challenge for me. I apologize. My disagreement is so new now. I came out by the time you came so close. And you. We can do this at the temple. We take advantage of the fact that it's right after the new year, and so people are still at the temple. We have been doing this at the uh, Silver Spring Temple for three years now, and every year we had we would have a uh, vigil. It's very simple, and many of us here are at that um, vigil at one time or another. And and I really want to thank all of you who came to share your stories because your stories belong to the collective stories of Cambodia. And, um, and, and this is the kind of things that we can do to, um, 
to, to, to help educate our children, to keep that story alive so that we remember. One of the things, another thing that we did at the temple was very wonderful, and I, uh, and I want to thank uh, the group that went for that, was that he planted a peace tree. And this is a tree that we can rally around. We can all um, stand around the tree and, and, and help our kids. Um, and obviously the last thing, we, you know, that's the last bullet point there. Um, I would like to say that one of the first one we had, we actually invited for uh, VOA, um, and there was a little blurb at VOA about the visual in um, at the temple. So, so that was that was a wonderful thing. And these are some of the things that we can do to help us, all of us, to remember 17 April every year. And uh, but the most important things that we can do is to actually remember the date. Wherever you are, whether you can do a visual or not, whether you're with somebody or not, just remember the date. Thank you very much. Now, Sopnish Jung Tau, Cheh Ang Le, Chirayam Lam, Chirayam Lam, Chirayam Lam, Now, the champion of my Bakhyam. It had a great later, now, Sopnish Jung Tau, Cheh Ang Le, Chirayam Lam, Chirayam Lam, Chirayam Lam, Chirayam Lam, Chirayam Lam, ហើយហោតទៅធ្វើជាព្រោះបំរៀនសាស្ត្រាចារ្យភាសាខ្មែរនិងវប្បធម៌ខ្មែរនៅស្ទេចផាត់ឆ្មេញនៅ ការដែលយើងហំធ្វើមហាសមបត្តិនេះរៀបចំជាង <coughs> មុននឹងនិយាយពីសកម្មភាពភាគចាស់លោកថាចាប់ជាវ៉ាសំឡឹងត្រូវសកម្មភាពអំទូកចេញអាឡើយយើងនាំគ្នាមកជិះទូកជ
thăm thơ ấy nè ờ, Nè quang trơ là phía bà chìa thơ bà tây áo Cả nạ bà bà chàng chứ nè tâu Đã bây cả nạ bà bà chàng chứ nè trâu Tại miên ca bọc cho nó nói sao chờ đất cho tự thoa Sao chờ đất cho tự bò là o, cô chô bò là o hơi to tay Chứ nè hay tao là kê cho trên bì tầm nay Kê cho trên bì tầm nay tê đòi xăm tê vì thi Đã bây tê đòi xăm tê vì thi Thảo đẹp tương sự phía ở mấy căng Thế nên ra thay ba là mấy căng Thế nên hát tầm lấy thay tam của môi chứ Ai chui dương tê tầm nay Ai bì bác bà chia chuôn mà bác sẵn thua chiếc Đã xăm tê vì thi Nên sơ tầm vô sắp tầm À Tầm vô sắp tầm à Bì bố xăm sắp chân em hơi Mà phê bàm chân em hơi Dù chăm bàn thất Đã dân phơ hẹ hai tạ chỉ chuyên chọn ba một thôi thì luôn cần ẩm nát sắp bay gian lâu lơ vuôn để ăn hay nên cần tạ chỉ chuyên nữa đôi chân này tôi cho hai hai nhạc lá cây thạch à lâu thôi bao nhiêu hơn hai và ba tám và số chỉ hết cho tôi cần nát tạ chỉ chuyên chứ anh ấy giờ thôi mất giờ tôi lấy tôi cái cái con trang nhân viên đó ẩm chân tê ẩm chân này nên tôi giờ tao thưa với nhà máy sẽ cần làm việc mình toal chứ nha, mình tiền Vì ông ra lúc này anh chẳng tốt khăn ở nam ta Vì hốp lúc đàn ơ, chỉ vứt đàn ơ, xây đàn ơ Nên anh chẳng đàn ơ Mình tiền đàn ơ Đã bây ơ chứ nha, mình tiền nha nha thật rồi vậy Nhưng trâu kích cu Bây giờ lâu nâng hay rô sạc ca mà biết Tốt sạc ca để mình tiền nha nha Chứ bây giờ sẽ làm sạc cái thường mạch Chứ bây giờ nè, hợp bà mô hai tao mình mang chỗ cháy thường mạch Trong chí đôi hư Nói chí đôi hư Thiết đây mình toàn lên Sọc bài giang Có khó cố Trong nên bằng cái chẳng đạo options A, B, C Choice A, B, C đây chẳng tạch Là dường chung thế đấy như mà thơ đấy Nó ôm ní xong chủng liệt Vì hướng Sạ thiết mình toàn chí đọa nắng Hai nắng Ca để dường chí nè mình tiên nắng Hai ta chắc chú hóa nắng Ta dường sẽ ấy Tại dân chết Cứ Bánh hà sọc bài gian Nói thông nông Bởi vì chẳng hạn chắc Cảm bởi chi Và tế kiếp Nói thông hùng dân Nói Chú bà lọ nè Cứ mà hà chuôn Khám ai dưới Khám yên ổng ngay Mà hà chuôn Khám ai khám yên ổng ngay Ổng ngay Nói lơ Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi và hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn Tổ thông này, ẩm nát nó lực đi Kế cả chào ơi mà hãy chuyên dưỡng cho chú mô Bỏ chân áo thật hơi cả kê Áo ơi, bỏ lên bỏ lòng cho chú mô hữu dưỡng gọt liền nè Bỏ chân áo thật hơi bỏ mình chân áo kê tế Để bỏ kê nè Tuột ra một quán bó xin áo tầng đó Hai bó hai cái áo dưới Ban và kết và kia ấy tam sụp tù Tụng lăng mà hai chút tam đại kê tổng trôn bằng bàn đấy Kê nấu tay buông nạc dỗ Hai dưới nấu tạc tòa lạc đó Mà hai chút nấu tạc viên ổng nát Hai tí bóng hót kê nấu lia sọc dưới Ở đôi sọc liêu đôi cầm chí trao Đôi chọn ba Hai tao chơi xa quán Đến lưu trình Sẵn khét mơ, ta nhảy hát sắp bài giang cư mà hát chuyên dưỡng khám yên ẩm nạc Khám yên ẩm nạc đòi bò là tê chìa chê tù trà thoát Hai đòi bò là tê mò tiết mò tinh mò sẵn cắt sân cân Nẹ đất nguồn khám ai chỉ sạch cả đau ý chìa Nó mơ cả đau ý nến Áo tù trà khám ai dưỡng mà hát chuyên nền Ôi thơ ta mà vô bài kì Ba mình thơ ta mà vô bài kì tê kì mình ôi biên lưu rộp rồi liêm đỏ la kì mà ôi biên ẩm nạc Khi mà ai kia là chút chỉ vứt luôn nở tệ Nói sẵn khai Đôi chứ nè Tâm nó xa ra dàn mệnh Dương nó sọc và ân sọc tê và đá đi Trâu tẻ Và chênh ếch thì bố bò dương lên Dốt ẩm nát dương lên hai lên nè Ếch thì bố lò tùm nẹ tùm nôn chùm mùi lên bò lò tê nè Bố cố lò ẩm nát chút mà hạ chút thay nó sọc mài vinh Chùm lại nên tùm mùi đấy Lúc thế thì tùm đây là mấy căn Linh Cân, Lộc Tha, Đàm Bây Aoi Chia thật bật tay, Aoi ẩm nát Nè, bà mà hạ chung thật thê, chê cao cháu trao tài miên Rót Tha bị báo Rót bà mà hạ chung Rót Tha bị báo chênh mò bị mà hạ chung Rót Tha bị báo sầm rát mà hạ chung 
A government of the people, by the people, for the people. The people, the American people, the American government must be of the people, by the people, for the people. Hai yêu tỏ lọc mơ sọc tầm nạt như Sọc tầm nạt như A government do anh ngay năng tăng là phía chất sẽ còn buồn mà Of whom? A government of Hanoi By Hanoi For Hanoi Sẵn hẹn Đó kê phải chọc như Ôn tạc chôn tao xây xây trong làn tóc Đó thay bán lâu đầy Đồ chứ nè Nhưng tóc và các Đó thay bị bán Đó bóng hạ chôn khám ái Chạy mò bị hạ chôn khám ái Sẵn rạp hạ chôn khám ái Hãy thỏa thêm mạch Nhưng chôn Không nghiêm ôm đi hay Nhưng mà cũng dân xa mà kì hết Thỏa thêm mạch Xa mà kì thế tầng Ôh nâng Dốt chia xa thiệt nặng Dấu Đốt lúc dốt dàng thái Nông niêm chia xa thiệt nặng Chôn xa thiệt nặng Ông ca nét Dê xa bạc bộ Dê thơ ấy chẳng bỏ mang Nên đau sốc Ông ích cả đau sốc Thầm mai cả đói Đàn bây Mà hát chôn thầm mai dự Đàn bây thơ bà giót Cả tên chết thầm mai Mình mê Đàn bây bà giót Cả nặng tắc này dụ bài ná Mình mê Đàn bây cơm thù xá Mình mê Đàn bây bà giót bọt tì Mình mê tì Hãy đăng bây mặt bà giáo mà hai chút mai thật thời mạch Thầm chê Tha bì quan đọc bằng bây nè Thì chắc bì ở lâu nè Dương xin á chồng lâu chứ bà lọ Chỉ alternative Chỉ chùm rơ đeo mình toa lên Chứ bà lọ Cứ Trâu Bà chân nào Ở trâm trâu sơ chờ rất dư tự thó Đâu mà hai chút thời mạch bà lọ thái Xong ông lúc đấy bác chân áp, bác chân áp tại chế tầm nàng đi hợp án hả? Chúa chế tầm nàng đi hết, ai cả nàng bác bí bây là chúa ông lên thuở ca nó không nông sạp phía, bất sạp phía nó bà này. Sẵn khai tớ thuở nông, nịt tế bánh nhạc. Đó bà này, hãy trở bỏ cô lùm nái cho ông hà chuân vinh. Ông lúc bán, ông nàng đi tế bánh nhạc hết, trở bỏ cô lùm nái cho ông hà chuân chia mà chắc tất cả đấy mà chắc chân áo lộ vinh. Bỏ cô lùm nái cho cứ thay phê cho chân áo thái Chân nông khá nê ở chỗ bác lo thái Cả các chí sở thiết thầm mây thái Tân lâu kè Bần thêm rồi thơ mà nôn Khá nông chú bác bác chân áo bởi biết Bởi rồi thơ bì bán á Tà mà khá lìa bì kìa đi Lô thơ bán tà bì kìa bây bà thêm bán Bà thêm thầm ạ Dương chìa nẹ bầm nàng ngà đi Bọn mà hà chôn khá mẹ Ô hôn hai tài lô bà bù lô ca Tốt chất dương chì nẹ bầm nàng ngà đi Khá nông như tết bà nhạc nè À lâu dương bì phía bây Smart chất bằng thêm thả Sở phía thầm mây ní Chạy ẩm nạc đi tệ bánh nhạc Bà tệ bác tờ lá ca ổ chú bác ngó Thái bà phố là ẩm nạc Ní tệ bà tệ bác Tốt đau mà hạ chuông khả mai vĩnh Đào dương bì phía bây Nên ẩm biêu níu hai chương rư Cả nạ rốt mần trầy thầm mây mũi Nên chú rốt mần trầy thầm mây mũi Để chênh bì tầm nạc mà hai chuyên khám ai chẳng không bật tê chẳng bật tê ai cờ hiếp bị cả nạc bạc này vô bài chẳng ổ Cứ như Chơi ổ lúc bị sốc bởi anh bởi 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 Nâu sốc thang cả đá sốc không ai như bởi bởi Đã ở đây dùm mê mở Vòng hồn hết cái đó Vòng văn xó cái đó Đục bùi tê cái đó Cái thân sắc thầm mê cả nạc bạc này đó Đạc tẩu Hai nét đẹp lực lên được đưa được phố là đạp biển Đấy là một phần này là áp trăm mạng trận này như sao Vì thật đạp theo hai nét thông sốc và đạp máu Rây xuống mấy miên hoa bà rùi đọc bọn Ôi cần nét Nè ơi rắc sập hiếp thông mây nét Và cả chia cả nạc càng mà cả chơi được hơi mũi Chơi nhớ rô Nét đây là ô bà xa bằng phốt cực của xuống nét Ô bà mát hát trâu ca Mà rùi nét đầm bây chì tu bà lây xuống chẳng Mà rùi nét chơi được hơi tạm Thái xa mạch nó không nâng sắp hiếp nó bị hiếp bấy Chứ đưa rơi mà rồi nè Nói thường vơi chơi cả nạ rõ một trái ai nè dụ rõ một trái ai kìa điệt Hái cả nạ rõ một trái nè dụ rõ một trái ai kìa điệt Nên dân tạ tấu Ở nạ bây chân nằm mà đó Nói bàn tạc bây ở nạ tê chơi ca là o mấy cái đó Bàn tạc bây ở nạ tê cũng buôn chân nằm chứ Hái ai ông ca nè tê tà la ca có đôi kì nè Khang của xuống và lý trở hiến có đôi kì nè Khang sẽ thác băng hoa tại nó trông Cả nát bác thì chia chương nó có hỏa lâu nó có đôi kì nè Trở tầy chơi hơi bí sẽ thác băng ai kì hít tầng Hai dương Tổ tua ca quang trông bị mà hạ chương phó 
សហរដ្ឋអាមេរិកផងពីយូអេនផងគេអាចជួយយើងបានពីព្រោះ <cười> អឺដូចទៀតថាបាននោះខ្ញុំខ្មែរអីនោះជាពាក្យមួយដែលខ្ញុំសម័យហើយយើងមិនអាចប្រើសម័យឥឡូវទេហើយយុវជនអឺ 60% ពានទៀតទៅនឹងបញ្ហាបោះទេដែលនៅពួកគោលរដ្ឋាភិបាលយើងតែយុវជនដែលមានជាតិចិត្តសភារយគឺអត់មានគិតពីបញ្ហាន
đó một cách mà tôi thấy là thì một cách mà nó chưa được phía lên đây rồi và nó chỉ chỉ bắt để xuất được con cá từ bên ngoài con thì một cách bắt rất là tăng bao tuần đứng để chia sẻ với các bạn nhiều bài và lấy một cách bắt thay biệt và thay biệt thà và các bạn nhiều bài nào bắt chúng ta làm lâu chúng tôi ở tây sạn tuần đất các bạn đến ngày tuần liền viêm đà viên này viêm đà viên lòng lộc và còn tại bên liên can này cứ chỉ bên liên can đau bệnh chặt từ đã được chọn nhiều nhất quân phu ao yêu chuyên phu ao nhiệt hoạt nón cắn tay và trắng cắn tay trong liên can lạc đồn nên chọn công việc này cho mọi người đấy nam mặc co ao sầm nát mà dương chiêm bày liền để cứ tham miên miên mà dựng bên chỗ chiêm một con nhẹ đại chùa bảo cấp nông chùa mà có hóm nông sập hơi nữa cứ xe đòi lốc xây mà nhận đâu chuyên viên phản ứng cứ chung một lốc xây Martin M A R T I N con chuyên chuyên viên phản ứng hai chiếc bọ prai chiếc bị sa ăn lấy hai con thái đoan nữa cứ thà chung một share society Professor Christian Su, uh, my question to you is uh, how can we implement uh, to have a uh, center for Cambodia study? Please. I don't think I answered that in one moment. <laughs> I think if we all have the same idea, then maybe we need to have a subsequent meeting of the minds to talk about it. Anyone who's interested, just let me know, and I'd be happy to facilitate it with the caveat that it's not my project, it's about the communities and what they want to do um, to have the Center for Quant Studies, but I think it can be done. Okay, thank you. ขอบคุณบางบางตัวบางส่วนต่างๆที่ได้เชื่อเหตุการณ์ประเทศบางครั้งเนี่ยอะไรค่ะเกิดอะไรเป็นเพราะบางบางอาคเนสการบอกตั
บอกบอกคุกันตินี้นกระไรนาเอาแต่จิตขมายเนี่ยสนาเจ็บประกอบจากส่งจากตุกชิบเสียงอันเชื่อสุเลยระบอกบอกอดมันแม่บอกมึงตรงตีมันแม่บอกบอกมึงตีคือบอกเยอะถึงอักเนี่ยเจ็บจุ่มวิชุกเสียงอันมีนโกลบ้านบอกกาตัวจีวิชุกเจ็บมวยสำหรับขมายนึกไอ้บอกตีเยอะเช่นบางการแบบชุดนี้เยอะดักช่วงบางบ้านสารพอดมีการปฏิจีคัมบูเรียมีเดนดับบุตรสี่อันก็ยังเป็นตามสักค่ะตีมวยยังถือชุดตีตียังถือตัวตู้สตรีมไลน์ทีวีตีใบยังถือจีพิมพ์ติ้งนิวส์เพเปอร์กับเปรตบ้างตีมวยยังถืออินเตอร์เทนเมนต์อย่างตีตามยังถือไลฟ์โรรีไลฟ์โรรีนี่คือไลฟ์โรรีจะซอฟต์แวร์ให้ดึงไลฟ์โรรีจะฮอตคอปปี้ให้ไลฟ์โรรีนี่ตัวตามตามเซ็กชั่นนั้นเจอมาเหมือนนาคาปราบได้ขบวนใต้กรอนเจนเจอรูปเรียนแต่ถ้ายังสักเซ็ตพวกนั้นก็ประโยชน์นั่นเลยอินเทอร์เน็ตบางใต้ยังเหมือนอัพยังสมัครพิษนั่นเลยประโยชน์ช็อตเมลหรือก็แอปอัพไม่ยังมีกรอนแต่เกมเอายังโจ้หรือยังต้อนยิ่งหลักเทียบจุดกัดกันแต่บ่งยังจุดช็อตเมลยังเพิ่มต้อนมาจากมาให้กลางมาขบวนใต้ไปเยอะเยอะเหมือนที่ตั้งปีเมื่อเชียงยังสะบังอัพปีเมื่อเชียงรถเลยรุ่ยจังแต่กบอ่านก็บางใต้จุดพวกเนี่ยสนาจิตบองบองออกเงินเงินตีเนี่ยสนาจิตเปิดประกอบมันตรกาลุยจะเอาเงินการดอกชิ้นที่แต่เป็นเนี่ยไอ้สนาหากระป๋ายสนาหาลุยสนาหาบอลสักไอ้เปิดกาลุยจะเอาเงินการดอกการติดการชิ้นแต่จุดพวกเนี่ยเนี่ยมันตรกาลุยจะเอาเงินจ่ายไปยังเชงเฟอร์ก้าลุยใต้ท้ายอ่อนเมียกสุดเทียบน้องกาสายนี่ให้ได้เยอะกดไอบอลเยอะจังเด็กชุดบอลเยอะคือสมัยบอลบอลโอนออกนี่ยื้อช่องส่งออกไปเป็นบอลบอลต่างประเทศโจ้งหัวจิ้มใส่คือบอลบอลจุ่มน้อยที่แทนกระดองจิ้มใส่บอลบอลมันโซ่จุ่มน้อยนั่งขจรพี่นะมาออกไปกวาดตื้อปวดเยื้อจุ่มน้อยคราวนี้บักอ่ะเฮ้ยกินลูกมันบักอ่ะเฮ้ยให้ประดาประดาขจรตามสเปียร์เอาช่องตามบอลลงทุ่งสเปียร์ยังทาหลบโป้หลบอมบินอายุจัดสับเชื่อมตาสับประวัติเรื่องเรื่องสมัยขนาดกระหงบอลบอลยังเคยเกมเย็นเอ่อเดี๋ยวทำมันตัวขมายอมดอกชันรีก็มันใต้จะเรื่องมวยแต่เกี่ยวกับจอมเรื่องมวยแต่ถ้าจะไอ้กระซาแม่นก็มันใต้สำหรับจีบยืนกบเพี้ยนเรื่องมวยจังจังผมเรื่องอะไรสำหรับจีบสะเสียรูปจากจุดพวกสมัยบารังจนผมโบราณเชื่อมดอกเนี่ยเป็นจุดเสียงก่อนให้อ่ะการสุดเชื่อมก่อนที่เขาจะเป็นฉะนั้นสุดเพียงบอกว่าอย่างนี้ทำไมสมัยบารังเขียนเพียงเนี่ยผมว่าสร้างไม่แต่ละใบมันเต็มหมดขึ้นสองจ้าก็จะเจอเรื่องเอ่อผมว่าสร้างไม่จะเป็นสมัยเอวมันไปดูก่อนดังสลาจะรับเครื่องชิคกับพ่อคนนั้นจะรับตัวสุดที่ว่าบางใบแค่ก็สร้างอะไรนี่ก็บอกอันนั้นเลยนะครับไปเช็คเครื่องชิคเยี่ยมโรคมองบอกแบบอ๋อเนี่ยแต่ส่งเอาคนไข้ต่อผมว่าสร้างเรื่องบอกครูนั่งไปดูเรื่องบอกบอกจีบผมว่าสร้างบอกชิดเด็กโตมึงเรื่องเชี่ยส่งตะกุลออกยุ่งช่างมาแบบซาจองก็มาใบดักก็มาใบบริบบอลเสียมอันไอเสียมอันเยอะนิดมันสหการถึงองค์การจราจรนะที่นี่ตัวจีบบอลเลยตะกุลองค์การอุ้มมีองค์การคาราทองค์การจูสองค์การซีดบอลเอจากไทยนั่งองค์การเขียนเพียงซีบอลลูกบอลมันก่อนนั้นก่อนมาพิจารณาบอลมันตรงจังเฟอร์เตโตเยอะยิ่งดังไอถังเก้จังเลือดตะได้เยอะคือเก้บอกพลังของวัดซาเยอะให้อย่างนั้นนี่กลมเพลงนะจูนเกย์กลมปงไตกลมก้าวปลดมาถึงสักกี่หนึ่งเลิศได้หรือว่าเยอะจีบเซนนั่นเลิศทุนบุกโก้ยงเพื่อนแหล่งสาบอร์มีนนั่นเป็นชนะการมวยมาเป็นชนะเป็นชื่อชื่อชื่อชื่อไม่ใช่ชนะมาถึงเพื่อนแหล่งสาบอร์มีนจำตั้งจุดตั้งหนึ่งเฉลี่ยตั้งหนึ่งเฉลี่ยตั้งไปได้หนึ่งชกเปียกซีสไลด์ตั้งหนึ่งมันเสี่ยงจะจำตั้งหนึ่งไปทับปูปูแต่ได้ยืนหนึ่งถึงก้าวยงนั่นแหละจะมาที่จังจะมีบอกท่านจูนเกย์กลมปงกลมก้าวปลดมาถึงสักเลิศได้เยอะมันไม่น่าเลิกเกะตอนท้ายแบบสั้นเกะท้ายเลยสักแบบปีรอยชั้นไปดูเทียบไปมองมองเอาไม่สักเอาให้เอาไม่ติดตุ๊กเองจ้าจุดปูยืนไม่ให้ที่ปูยืนเบียนให้ยืนมันจองตรองตกอะไรในเบียนขึ้นปูยังจ้าขึ้นไปสอบขมายลงกบจุดเดิมไปเลยนะจ้าไปเลยนะดูเส้นริบจ้าดูชิ้นแรกยังสมัครจัดจุย